At 45 this morning, this Friday, the curtain will go up on Act Louisville's production of Honk the Musical. It's a modern retelling of The Ugly Duckling, and among other things, it's known for its costumes. Our Sam Carter is live in St. Matthews this morning, giving us a little sneak peek. Sam, you're looking uh, pretty dapper this morning. Oh, thank you, Alex. That's a really cool thing of you to say. Yeah, I got my feathers rocking here. One of the cool things about theater, especially, but movies as well, is how we get involved in things without even knowing it. And one of those key elements are costumes. And they are a big deal here in with Honk. Joining us once again is Beth Hull. Um, Beth, we've picked out some elements, but before we show it off, what are some of the key things to know about the costumes for Honk? Because it's not photorealistic animals, right? Right. We don't want it, uh, you to know, come in and feel like you're going on like a character visit at Disney. Of course, you yeah. Know, we want, uh, these relationships are important. So we're doing accents, things that suggest, you know, like duck feet. So we're, you know, covering their legs and leg warmers. Oh, they're colored. And, you know, looking at uh, one of our, our uh, characters is Maggie Pie. So her uh, costume has those colors that the uh, magpie has, which are like bright blues and black and white. And it's just these fun little accents that we do. Yeah, because we're not pretending that we're watching animals do this. We're, right. we're watching, in this case, children, but in, you know, other theaters, adults, and we're watching them kind of embody these animals in other ways. So why don't you take us through some of these costumes and show us what we got. Let's All right, so here. this is our little ducklings. Oh, so, sweet. Yeah, so when they first hatch, they, they're bright and yellow, and then in the second act, they get a little older, so they get some of their white feathers, and this is a little sun visor that they'll wear that, for their little beaks. Or for their, their bills. bills, yeah, yes. right. That's, so that is exactly what we're talking Right. about in that it you know who it is but we're not asking you to be like this is not a duck this is such and <laughs> a such. little girl let's 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 keep it moving this so is really these neat. uh these are probably our uh, one of our most popular scenes is um the frogettes with the frog oh and so cool so they have their little green body suits and this uh fun little um little skirts and the overlay so that it feels fantastical you know um you know one of those huge 1938 big big scale uh, musical theater numbers with the the fanning and the i love you it. know it's now, great we're gonna get a chance to meet some of these kids in the next mm -hmm. in the next hour here tell me about how much work goes into kind of designing these costumes and and how much kind of license do you have to kind of say we want to do it this way as opposed to how they did it when they were on broadway or when they do it when they're touring yes and you know it's interesting because you you go and you research and you look but what's more fun is to find out what the kids think oh, wow. and um, having let them have some input and uh, one of our uh, characters he uh, this in this show we did not give every kid a role we've got kids who are being challenged and playing a track of roles so they have two to three roles as originally written in the script so that they understand character and that they can have different voices and different physicality so it's really important for them to find those costume pieces that help them tie into that. So our turkey was like, you know, I think I think I need like a, a hat that kind of looks like <laughs> Sherlock Holmes. And we're like, let's make that happen for you. If that was what makes you feel like a turkey, let's I get the hat. I can't do this without the hat. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So Where is my hat? <laughs> I need my hat. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Um, how can people come see this? How can people check you out? Because we're going to get to see a live performance in the next uh, next hour or so. Yes, you should come down to St. Matthew's Station. We're going to start um, October 27th through November 5th. ActLouisville.com. It is bring the whole family. It's going to be a really great treat. You'll be sad you missed the show. Absolutely. We're going to be doing a song and dance number at 644. I really want you to support these kids. I want to take you on a journey through Honk here at St. Matthew's Station. I'm excited for it. I hope you are too. All right, Sam, thank you. Tickets are starting at $25, yeah. so it's a good deal.